Welcome back students. In this video I'm going to also talk about uh, another important and interesting uh, plugin which you may want to explore. It's a uh, Google Earth Engine plugin. So, um, in my case I have already uh, uh, installed this plugin but uh, if you have not done this yet uh, you have to first uh, to create a Google Earth Engine account and in the uh, next videos I'm going to explain to you how to register to Google Earth Engine and what is Google Earth Engine and why it is important but uh, basically in just few words Google Earth Engine is a planetary uh, large platform which accompany uh, or, as, or host um, data sets um, all rusted and vector open source data sets and free data sets that are available almost all of them that are available for our earth and this could be uh, in the public domain and this include not only information from uh, images uh, satellite images and missions but also information uh, such as land use land cover maps at different global and regional scales and uh, also vector data set. So the, the, the platform is huge and it allows uh, to uh, work uh, and to, uh, to do um, unprecedentedly uh, important uh, analysis at, a, at a big scales, large scales, using cloud computing capabilities from Google. So of course that was a kind of uh, um, game changer uh, in the world of uh, remote sensing analysis as we are much uh, restricted with the computing power of our computers and with uh, Google Earth Engine coming into the play we, were, or we are able uh, to access uh, cloud computing uh, platforms where we could work with the big data and uh, compute big data analysis. So Google Earth Engine and co Code Editor is exciting um, topic. If you're interested in it, have a look on my courses on that. But in, uh, in the following uh, videos, I'm going to explain to you how to install, um, um, how to sign up to Google Earth Engine. What is Google Earth Engine? And uh, that uh, give you just some um, feeling of um, uh, capabilities of Google Earth Engine. But um, um, something that I would like to mention that integrated uh, Google Earth Engine plugin to QGS is still uh, not uh, a substitution of, a, uh, of a capabilities that you could do by uh, doing analysis uh, on the cloud directly in Google Earth Engine. Basically, um, what you can see uh, here is this uh, uh, Google Earth Engine community uh, on GitHub saying uh, that uh, the version that is currently available is alpha uh, version. So it still um, have some, um, uh, it still have to be tested. And basically QGIS Earth Engine plugin integrates Google, Google Earth Engine. If you click on the Google Earth Engine, you would come to the main uh, website of Google Earth Engine uh, and QGIS using uh, Earth Engine Python API. Currently the plugin implements only a subset of map API typically used with a Google Earth Engine code editor. And uh, you could also see how to do and what you can do with this by uh, uh, look at the familiar uh, website of developers on Google Earth Engine. Well, a few words about uh, Google uh, Earth Engine. Again, uh, it allows a planetary scale uh, platform for Earth science data and analysis. And as I have uh, already uh, said, this um, um, combines both uh, great archive of different uh, data sets, satellite data sets, uh, combined with the algorithms that could be written by you, but also pre-coded algorithms uh, as well um, um, as um, um, algorithms uh, for special analysis that could be integrated using Python API uh, or uh, code uh, editor JavaScript based API. And this would allow uh, real world uh, applications in uh, and on, on our Earth surface. 
So here you could uh, find all information about Google Earth Engine. It's a wonderful website. One of my uh, favorite, uh, actually, um, um, cloud computing platforms. But in order to be able to explore its uh, full length, you have to sign up. And this is also what you have to do uh, in order to integrate QGIS plugin, or I'm sorry, Google Earth Engine uh, plugin to uh, QGIS. And in order to sign up uh, for Google Earth Engine, you have to have a Gmail account. So first, please, create a Gmail account and then you could, or you, if you have your Google account, you can just use your Google account and then by clicking sign up, you could follow the instructions super easy uh, in order to sign up. When you, uh, when you basically finish this uh, step, uh, the installation of uh, plugin uh, could be done by uh, using QGS plugin repos repository. So basically by this window that I have just shown to you, uh, and um, you have to allocate some, uh, some time for this. And again, you need to uh, have an active Google or Ascension account in order to, um, to, to make it work. I think this information on this website is extremely uh, um, useful. I would really uh, um, encourage you to read it. It's not much. Uh, also, you could also uh, look uh, on the codes on GitHub uh, for this, but it will also give you some uh, preliminary information of what is possible with uh, Google Earth Engine uh, plugin uh, on QGIS.